A two alarm fire in South Nashville has been deemed arson. Two homeless people were hurt in the fire at the abandoned Harding Inn. Fire investigators found several homeless people living there. News Channel 5's Mark Bellinger is live at the hotel. And Mark, did investigators tell the owner to keep people out of there? Well, they sure did. They want to make sure this doesn't happen again. Today, the fire department served the owner of the hotel a written notice ordering him to provide round the clock security. The fire engulfed the top floor of the abandoned hotel just two days after it was inspected by firefighters. On Monday, paramedics discovered several homeless people living there. Fire investigators did an inspection and filed paperwork noting people were inside the structure. In this particular incident, this is kind of a rarity where you run up on something where you've made a call on it on one day uh, and then two days later the actual structure is on fire. Five years ago, a Nashville judge shut down the Harding Inn under the city's public nuisance law. Metro Police alleged prostitution and drug use. It's been vacant ever since. In May, the hotel was purchased by a group of people who own hotel franchises. The group includes Nish Jabalia. Jabalia posted no trespassing signs on Tuesday and told six to eight people to leave. We said, guys, you need to move out. We are going to have a crew starts coming in for demoing the property. And we posted the sign all over the property saying that the demo is going to start. Please evacuate the property as soon as possible. Within a few hours, the place was set on fire. The smoke could be seen for miles. The fire department, noting the place was unsafe, served Jabalia with court papers, ordering him to set up round the clock security. We are already uh, going to go ahead and have a security company in place. If possible, by today. If not, I will have somebody sitting at the front all night long just to make sure nobody walks in, walks out till we have the security company in place. Jabalia yeah, says his group intends to either rebuild a hotel here or an apartment complex. When we bought it, we knew it, what challenge we are getting into it. But the thing was that the time was so short for us to do a lot of things. Um, so we could not achieve or could not stop it, what had happened yesterday. Tonight, investigators are questioning witnesses to the fire, and they specifically want to talk to two men who are dressed as women. Reporting live from South Nashville, Mark Bellinger, News Channel 5 HD.